YouTube, it's me, Jen, your pudgy picker, here with another haul. Yes, it's a garage sale haul. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Went to, you want to know how many sales I went to? You already read the title, so it's no big surprise. I went to 28 sales. I spent $55. Can you believe it? Not too bad. I got some good stuff. Uh, rain, looked like it was going to rain part of the day, and then it held off until literally I was driving home, and then it started, so... Lucky me. <laughs> so let's jump right in and show you what I got. I'll start with these items over here because I'll forget them if I just do the table first. I'm always looking for vase fillers when I find a cool vase. And I want to stage them, but I don't want to spend a lot of money. So this was a dollar. Home Goods originally had it for eight. And it's just basically just some like natural grass in green and beige. This was a very big shock. Uh, it's still in the package, still new. The original price on this is $42.99. At home was the original place they purchased it. This garage sale, I went in and was just looking around and the lady was talking to one of the other ladies that was there and she's like, yeah, we just, man, almost all the stuff is gone. We had a ton of people come really early and I was thinking, why is this still there? Because I looked at this What does that look like to you? That looks like $2 to me. So I said, huh, is this, this is $2, is that right? She goes, yeah, I've been having people look at that all day and nobody's got it, I was surprised. I said, I'll take it. So I don't know if people were looking at it and thinking, eh, it's 12 or I'm not even gonna look at the price because it's new, it's probably expensive or eh, it doesn't fit my decor. But yeah, that was a very nice pickup. So that will pay for probably two thirds, more than two thirds of what I bought today. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna ask uh, like 30 to 35 for it and see how it goes. Yeah, but it's big. Okay, let's start over here. I got a mission style stained glass lamp shade. This one was only $6. I looked over it real good. It has the finial here too. The, uh, the only issue with this, hang on, let me, is it's not that deep, so it'll only fit certain lamps. So I'm gonna try it with a few things I have. You know me, I'm always buying the bases if I find them at a good price, I buy the tops if I find them at a good price, and then I mix and match until I have something that I can take to the store and sell. So this, uh, I will do a little experiment. If you've ever seen like the lamps, okay, like this that just comes straight up, I don't think that's what this is for. You ever see the ones that come up and then they do this and they have a light bulb and then another one and then another light bulb? I think that's what this is for. So I'm gonna have to kind of look around for that. But I always have a running list of things that I need or things that I want and that will just be added to the list. Um, if I put that on a nice uh, bottom, it'll go anywhere from 60 to $80 at my store. So definitely worth a pickup. I thought this was a picture frame at first, but it's just a decorative piece. I love the wood to it. It was $2.50. Um, this fish is adorable. It was a dollar. I'm going to put it in my booth with some Lucky Bamboo in it, and I will sell it for $10. That probably put $7, $8 on. This was adorable. It's made to look like the old enamelware three-piece set, coffee, tea, and sugar. The sugar one is so little and cute. So these were $2 for the whole set are very cute even if you just some people have like a high shelf in their kitchen even that would be cute to stage them up there uh, my little slugger glass ceramic piggy bank he was a dollar he looks like a baseball oh it plays take me out to the ball game well we'll have to see if that works <laughs> uh, a little wooden sign that says this is my happy place Put that out with the summer items. Some 50 cents each, brand new, simply clean lemon herb, and I forget what the other one is. Pink Himalayan sea salt. It's just uh, uh, from Giant Eagle. They're a big grocery store brand, but I figure 50 cents each, that's cheaper than a store. Even the dollar store is cheap, is it's more expensive because it's $1.25 now. So I got those. I love this little mug. It was 50 cents. It says, you're my person. This is a, uh, oh, what do you call her? Oh, I tell you. I've never been into her stuff, so I'm like, eh, whatever. 
This is a Radon originally, $10 at Marshall's, which is a discount store. And it says, good dog. So I thought that was adorable and only two bucks. So I will sell that. I have an old, uh, like apothecary, almost like a drugstore, candy store, uh, antique little uh, thing with a little metal lid that I have the dog's treats in. And a little dog right there for a dollar, yellow dog. Got one of these Galileo lamps. Uh, I always do really well with them. I don't find them as often. Uh, the only place I ever really seem to get them is at garage sales. They're much cheaper there. If I find them in the thrift store, they're just priced too high. So I, I haven't had one in my booth for a while, so I may have to look it up. It's by how tall it is, so I will look it up and make sure uh, that I'm getting the price that I should on that. I thought these jars were cool, and I'm not sure if I'm going to leave them. I just may leave them the way they are, but they're really cute. I don't know what they say on them. But then they have this lid for, like, if you're putting flowers in. And so one has lemons, and one has oranges and the guy said oh I thought you don't want the third one I said I didn't see a third one he goes oh maybe it's sold I said I bet you it was limes <laughs> he goes you're probably right he's a really nice guy he uh, grew up uh, where we're the area where we're living now so we just yapped about that for a few minutes I thought this was cute they only wanted I think I asked how much it was and then she looked and she said oh the price on it says a dollar I did not see a price on this other than the oh, $24 because I look over stuff real good and then I'm like oh how much is this and then they just they show it to me and go it's right there and I'm like Duh. so it says four and it's got a golf ball in it somebody will love that so that will go out in my space I'd probably put 10 bucks on that I'm guessing I did find a little piece of foam uh, I have a few you know in my last uh, price drop haul I got that big thing of succulents so I needed a few more of these to finish a few projects to sell in my space and this was only a quarter there was a couple other pieces but they were w different shapes I can't use and lady said for uh, for a dollar I'll give you all the other ones I said oh sorry I only need this size <laughs> so, yeah these are adorable these Adirondack chairs oh I just think they're so cute they make you think of the beach in those. <laughs> but these were only a dollar each. They are from Doris, which is a craft company, which is sold at all the craft stores. Joanne Fabrics, Michaels, all of them have Doris. I just love that they weren't painted like a weird color. I just think they're beautiful the way they are. So a lot of times you'll see them with a little thing for a candle holder. It's at an angle, so I don't even think that would work. They just look awesome just sitting there, don't they? So those will go with my summer items that I have out. I found this big iron eagle. I guess I've never seen one in this pose. Usually they're with the wings outspread. Now I know one of you guys out there are going to tell me that the, the different wings, like this means something, and then the wings where they're spread out means something. I just had that thought all of a sudden, and you're probably going, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But this is very heavy. Didn't have a price on it. Uh... I went up and there was like two kids running the sale. They kept calling mom, 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 the thing, what is it? It's... So this was $5, so I'll probably put off the top of my head 30 to 35. I had like three or four of the ones where the, you know, the wings were spread out. And I waited till I got those three and then I, I hung them up in my booth, all three of them in a row. They really looked cool all together and they eventually sold. And that was about what I was asking. But I, of course, will look it up if I'm not sure. So I got that. This is cool. And and I have no idea why it exists or anything, but I love the colors. It is blown glass. And I am going to try not to break it till I get it out to the store. I mean, it looks like, you know, well, we just have some extra, you know, glass. Why don't we just make something silly? So that would look awesome, like on a shelf in an office or something, wouldn't it? So I'm probably going to put, I don't know, off the top of my head, probably 25 bucks on that. 25 to 30. I'll look it up and see if it's a thing. I mean, I've seen lots of blown glass items, but I've never seen anything like this. So, oh, you're so pretty. Um, I got a salt and pepper shaker. I just thought these were just so cute. I know I just bought some at an auction. A set of two, of course. I love when they price them individually. That gets me laughing. So they have this pretty silver tone top and then this like etched 
so they're vintagey, but they're cute. Um, I got another note uh, binder. I'm always looking for these, and they're not cheap in the store. So that one was a whole quarter. So I need that for a few things. I was very happy to find these. As soon as I saw cabinet hardware and then this one, I knew what it was. And these are going to make me a decent amount of money. There are 15 of these drawer pulls in this box with the screws. And they're this brushed bronze. Aren't they cool looking? Ugh. And I know these are very popular when people redo stuff. So there are 15 of those in there. And this was $3, by the way. And then this one says uh, twisted cabinet handles. There's only seven of these in here, but they are, again, uh, the brushed metal. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? So there's only seven of those in there. So I'm thinking they might have bought these and use some of them because underneath these is a lot of screws. Now, I don't know if some of those go to that because both boxes were open. I'll figure that out, look them up, and then sell them. But this is a Reventi, so I'll have to look that brand up and see what they're worth. Um, the last items I got, let me look around the table just to make sure I didn't forget, is I buy a lot of little items or I get items like these at uh like in a bin or in a box lot at an auction and these are things that go into my uh, mystery grab bags I do them for men and I do them for women um, so this will be some of the men items these were in big boxes and the lady said uh, eight for a dollar so some of these I think might even be worth something Epcot Center it was called that early on when it was first done so I'm wondering, it says Made in USA Walt Disney. I might look that one up, but we have uh, Alcatraz and Lighthouse, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Hoover Dam, Jim Beam. <laughs> That's not a location. Yeah, maybe it is. <laughs> I love New York, the shuttle, the astronaut. Uh, very cool. Houston, Texas, uh, Baltimore, this, we were actually, when we were down in Amish country, we were very close to this. This is Wilmot, Wilmot, Ohio, uh, the largest cuckoo clock in the world. So, yes, I don't know if that's still true, but that was their claim to fame for a while. So I got all these for like three bucks. Um, I got those, and then I got this little dancing ha happy little pepper. Um, this cool little lock one, it lights up, and then it has this little lock. Uh, this one lights up. This one, it separates, so you'll put keys on each side. And then these are just like bottle openers. Uh, you know, the little this, that, and the others that men like. And then these were at another sale. These were all a quarter each. So I got three little miniature cameras. That's those. I got this little decoy. Look at that. Somebody painted him. Can you imagine? And then uh, several of these, those little owls. So there's five of those. And then three seagulls. Aren't they cute? Very, very cute. So yeah, these, you know, I look for stuff that's like a quarter or less than a quarter to go into my uh, mystery bags. And I have a bin that I'll just throw these in. The bin is almost full. So I am, I am, I am, I am, I'm poking myself in the head to remember I want to do a video and just show you the things that I have uh, for the mystery bags and then how it ends up looking or how I you know wrap them up and how I price them so I will be doing that soon so you can see all those goodies uh, sometimes you have to you know if you have a booth or even if you have online sales you have to kind of wait like if I was going to sell these online you know get a whole bunch of them and then just lot them all together it just makes it easier uh, but this will be great. The Epcot Center one, I think, is worth some money. We'll see. So that is it. That is all. That's all I found this time. Oh, uh, if you stayed all the way to the end, I met a viewer. Dana, hi. Dana was out garage sailing with her two kids, and they were very well behaved, I might add. <laughs> we were at a garage sale, and I was kind of just yip-yapping. I meant to talk to her, and then I talked to the lady running the sale, because I do that everywhere I go. And we walked... I paid for my stuff and started going out. She was about five paces out of me. She stopped and she said, I didn't want to say anything in there. And I was like, oh, <laughs> she's like, 
but I watch you on YouTube. And I go, oh, that's awesome. And she said, I wasn't sure if I was going to say something. And I'm like, I always tell people, if you see me anywhere, just, you know, say, hey, Jen, or Pudgy Picker, or hey, Jen, or whatever, and I'll, I'll sit and yap at you. You'll have to extricate yourself. So if you don't want to talk to me for like 20 minutes, you just don't say hi. <laughs> But Dana and her two kids were lovely. She said she's been watching me for a while, uh, and I appreciate that. So I uh, always love to meet you guys when we're out and about at garage sales. I've met people at thrift stores. Uh, it's pretty cool. My daughter once had the experience where she was in a store and heard my intro music uh, and was like, she couldn't figure out where it was coming from. She walked around, there was a lady, you know how some of the carts like in different stores have a, where you can clip your, your cell phone. She was watching one of my videos clipped onto the cart. And I said, did you enter, this was like a year ago. I was like, did you introduce yourself? Did you say, hey, hey, that's my mom? She goes, no, no, mom, I didn't do that. And I'm like, oh man, I wish I was there. That would have been cool. But, you know, I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching all my goofiness. I do appreciate how much time it takes. And if you are going through anything difficult or or not, I'm glad to just yippee yap with you, show you a few things, give you a few laughs, and hopefully brighten your day. That means more to me than you realize. I mean, it, it's it's exciting to have people want to do what I do because of seeing my videos, but just someone's leaving a comment and saying, I was having a really rotten day and I saw your video and it, it, it cheered me up. That means everything. Because I know that's something Dana said when I met her, the viewer, she's like, it's been a rough week. And this really, really was awesome to meet you. And I was just, I was humbled. I was humbled by that. If I can make anybody laugh or, you know, bring a few minutes of sunshine in your life, absolutely. I'm I'm the girl to do it. <laughs> so, okay, enough yip yap, and I will let you guys go. Thank you for your time and attention. I will see you guys next time. Get out there, find some good stuff. It's garage sale season, y'all. Unless you live in Texas where it's like 107 degrees and you don't garage sale in the summer. But you got, you got the rest of the year. I'm so jealous. Okay, guys, I'll stop yapping. I'll see you next time. And until then, happy picking. Bye.